This afternoon, our California fire crews from across the state are packing up and heading to Hawaii to help out with the fires and the recovery effort there. Assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. And Mike, are there any crews from our area that are actually going to help? Yeah, Ross and Amy, I just got off the phone with the Riverside City Fire Department. They are sending a task force out there as well. There's also a team from Oakland and Sacramento heading to help with the fires. Now, these are going to be urban search and rescue teams. So these are not going to be folks that are generally going to be on the fire lines fighting the fires. But as we look at some video from the devastation that is out there, these these are going to be teams that are going to be more recovery uh, and trying to help people kind of get through all of the rubble and all of the things like that. Unfortunately, our firefighters here in California have a lot of experience with that. We've seen our fair share certainly of devastating fires. Now, the Riverside City Fire Department uh, tells me that their crew members are packing up right now and getting everything ready to go. They'll deploy first thing tomorrow morning. This is a task force made up of members of both the Riverside City Fire Department as well as Cal Fire Riverside County. So those guys are all getting everything together. They'll fly out in the morning along with teams from Sacramento and Oakland. It's all part of an uh, Office of Emergency Services from the state of California that are going out there. Now, as we come back out here to the desk, in addition to those uh, fire departments, they are going as well with a uh, group of people from the Cal OES that can kind of do a little bit more logistical things. So lots of help. And Ross and Amy, I just wanted to point out too that Hawaii is in a unique position here because if this were a state that were landlocked or, you know, Arizona, Nevada, something like that, a lot more of our firefighters would just be able to jump on their brush engines and head over there and help. That's not the situation here. All of these people have to be brought in by aircraft and can't necessarily bring their engines with them to help like they would if it were a neighboring state.